Keep saving. Accents for the home. Have a late night craving for coins? Just click. On our website, there are literally thousands of coin items available. On shopathometv.com, you can zoom in on specific aspects and areas of the coins that we just simply can't do interactively on the air. Anytime is time for change. On shopathometv.com. Earth. Wind. Fire. And then there's cold. Forged steel, so hard and so cold, we just had to present it on ice. For the knife collecting connoisseur, Shop at Home presents some of the finest crafted collectible knives on this or any planet. Everybody, welcome back into the show, and uh, let's get into it. We got a final uh, half hour, but you know we got a whole lot more for you. Uh, tonight, of course, we're going to welcome uh, Larry Began in just a very few moments. Looking ahead, uh, we still have the Watch Commander that's going to be joining us live. Uh, we have uh, John House that's going to be joining us. We have the Watch Industry's favorite comrade, Craig Hester, that's going to be here. And that's among uh, other guests that, that we have over the next three nights as we continue the Back from Basel celebration. Uh, spectacular, call it what you will, which is uh, once again uh, setting records here. So while I'm uh, thinking about it, I just want to take a moment to thank the many, many hundreds of you all across the United States are supporting uh, what we do here at Shop at Home Television and building a watch program and uh, we do thank you for the, the uh, support and we're not going to let you down. Uh, I want to recap uh, and I actually a couple of items. One of them I'm just going to do verbally. Uh, the vast majority of the George J. Von Bergs are sold out and that's no real surprise. If you are looking for the very last of the textured dials, as I understand it, we're the only place in the world right now you can even get one. We have a handful of those left, and you can see that on the website. Also, if you want the numbered limited edition, of which only 10 remain anywhere in the world, and we have allocated all of them, I think there's seven of those left. And you can also learn more about that at uh, shopathometv.com. Now, also on our website, and I don't know how many of you got to see last hour, but I know we uh, had a bunch of you uh, join us here right at the top of the hour, and you didn't get a chance to see the actual live presentation of the Guinness Book of World Record uh, accepted, if you will. Uh, it, it holds the, the world record for the dive watch depth. This is the 12,000 foot watch. You get the uh, CO it is certified chronometer. You get the COSC, you get the certificate for Guinness Book of World Records, you get uh, a cert from the, uh, the oceanic lab that performed the test. Uh, this is a $4,000 watch. And I can tell you for a fact that on the used market, this has been trading for about $3,200. We are, again, factory direct. We are offering this at $2,199 with three interest-free payments. Now, so far, all four dials remain available, and they are left to right, white, Safety yellow, blue, which is like a gunmetal blue, or classic black. They're all available. Right now, black is probably likely to go first. This is by far the lowest price in, in, in the world, to our knowledge, on a one brand new. And frankly, in the used market, they're 3200 So this is a phenomenal deal. This is a $4,000 watch you can have on your wrist for the first payment of seven thirty three dollars to see if it, it, it works out for you. Uh, this watch won't be for everybody, I'll tell you that. It's a 49 millimeter, and it weighs three quarters of a pound. It weighs 360 grams. It's a remarkable watch. If you want to make it slightly less heavy, uh, it also ships with a custom-built rubber strap and you get the changing tools. So anyway, you get the whole thing. Um, so it's available if you were waiting for the, uh, the live uh, event. And of course, it was last hour, but the point is you can now go pick one up on our uh, website if you like. All right. Uh, we're going to uh, jump into things here and we're going to uh, welcome a uh, gentleman again to many of you. We'll need no uh, introduction at all, which by the way, got uh, wonderful <laughs> accolades, I'll have to say, over the last year. So we tons well, of email and they're thrilled to have you back. Well, so it's Larry right over here. Thank you for being here, man. Hey, Tim, listen, uh, this has been a gas. I'll tell you what, uh, you know, I've, we, you and I have done many hours of TV together. We've looked at hundreds of watches, but this event that you're doing is so spectacular. I'm going to let you in on something. 
I ordered one of the uh, Charmex watches. Did you? Yeah, they're they're brilliant. Uh, I can't wait to, to get it. Um, it's it's an exceptional exceptional it's, piece, and I could go on for ten minutes about that. I'm piece. gonna you know yeah. I'm, I'm just kidding myself. I'm I'm gonna end up with one of them. I, I mean, it, it, you gotta have it. So, a watch guy has to have. It's so awesome. Like that, I mean, it? just the fact that it's a certified chronometer. Forget about the make of the watch, which is spectacular with that water resistance. But a certified chronometer at twenty one hundred dollars. You know what? I never even put that together. That's a really valid point. I mean, just to get that with normal water resistance. And people is have a to understand, deal. you know, when you're in this business, what it means to have a certified chronometer. Not just that it's uh, certified within, you know, plus. Uh, six or minus four seconds per day but also the fact that you must be a really well respected swiss company to even get uh, to apply for certification yeah it's, it's uh, a huge it's deal and i, I appreciate you letting us internet by the way it was great seeing you over at, at basel I, I gotta say yeah um we had the single uh, <laughs> biggest team i've ever been able to work with at at basel as you know we had our entire buying staff over there we spent the whole week just trying to dissect the show and um, it, it's one of these shows, and you probably know this, Europa Stars called this the greatest Basel watch fair ever, um, and I wholeheartedly agree with that. Um, you can't see the Basel watch fair in a day or in two days, and, and we were over there with a the whole team, and we still didn't get to see well, everything. And, and, and my, my point being is here's this, this massive uh, yeah. celebration of watches and new technology and old technologies and, and all these wonderful things. It was just so great to see uh, a lot of my friends there, and, and such as y yourself, coming out with these, these terrific brands and being so yeah. beautifully uh, uh, represented and um, we're thrilled that, you, that you're here and thank you for bringing in well, the, 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 the stuff like, like Zeno Basel and, and Gravana tonight. This is, this is huge for us. Thank you and again this is, this is a blast. I've never seen such diversification in a TV event of watch brands ever. I mean this in itself, this event in itself is a record. Uh, this is tremendous. It's great to be a part of it. And I heard you talking on the phone with George uh, J. Von Berg. Yeah, who you and, know, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And, uh, you know, um, he, he didn't is really. Is he one of the most gracious people you'll ever very meet gracious, in your very, life? Very, very gracious. <laughs> and you, you know, keep referring to George as legendary, and he is. And one of the things that uh, makes them legendary is his father was really the first one to properly organize an assembly line for movements with his Claro really? factory in 1962. Really? I did not know that. That's absolutely wow. true and correct. And uh, the Von Bergs hold a very esteemed place in the Swiss uh, 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 legend, really. And, and, and I think very deservedly so. I, I've always thought of every time I've had a chance to meet with him in person, it was like, mm -hmm. This is a guy, if anyone, that, that deserves this this huge ego, and he, there's none of it. He's and like he's the he, most. He, he, he's like he, he's like the Geppetto of watchmaking. He is, and he actually, <laughs> uh, I, I uh, he's he has promised me he's going to do a yeah. show with us before the end of the year. And if you've never seen George, yeah. he is the guy you hope makes all of your watches. He even looks like it. I don't think he's going to wear later hosen for us, but it, he's just the, the greatest guy. All right, so let's let's talk about uh, last night. Of course, uh, you brought us uh, the Zeno Basel, right. and as you know, it was a huge huge hit, and. Uh, tonight you're, you're coming back with yet another Swiss brand, uh, Gravana. Yeah. Um, now, for I, I'm uh, somewhat familiar with uh, with Gravana. I've yeah. worked with them uh, somewhat sporadically. Um, in your in your mind, uh, what is maybe like the top one or two things that you'd love well, consumers to know about the brand? Well, I would like everybody to know first of all, this is again uh, just like Zeno Basel, uh, Zeno Watch Basel. This is a homegrown Swiss company. Uh, this company was founded in 1924. Uh, they're located in uh, Tenneken. Uh, Switzerland, which is only about 22 kilometers uh, from Basel. So, I mean, it's uh, in miles, I guess that's probably 17, 18 miles from Basel. So very, very close to Basel. Founded in 1924. It is a family-run and owned business. It's in the Bitterly family now for uh, more than 30 years. And, of course, uh, you know, I spent most of my time with, uh, with Christopher, uh, with Chris uh, Bitterly, who is now running the company. But it was founded by uh, you know, I mean, he took it over from his father, and now he has his two sons working in the company uh, that are uh, 16 and 18 years old, and uh, eventually it's going to go down to them. But again, uh, y you have to really go over there to understand the pride with which not just Gravana, but uh, all of these, you know, homegrown Swiss companies. It, it's a capitalistic country, but not like capitalistic like America. They take such pride. Yeah, they're there to make money, but it's pride in watchmaking. Uh, you see the streets are clean, the factories are clean. Uh, if a bus is scheduled you know, to be there at 632, it's right there on the dot at 632. I can vouch for that, and they don't mean 633 and, and either. That whole mentality, that whole philosophy goes right into the watchmaking industry. It's so You could spend, do a three or four hour documentary on how this small country has become the literally the center of the 
of the global universe of watchmaking and the leading, leading the world and leading the way. And with Gravana, uh, this is one of those homegrown Swiss companies that takes that kind of pride and uh, it's, it's a pleasure for us to bring them here to the United States. And we've only got four or five models I think we're going to feature in these next 20 minutes. Uh, not in super great quantities, but here's a great opportunity right here. I mean, look at this price to get a Swiss-made watch uh, from a company like Gravana. Well, one of the things I think is really cool about this one is that it, it, you've got, I'm not going to call it oversized, but it's definitely got a nice, look, the, the great heft to it. But it's being combined with what is hugely in vogue now, which of course is, is, the, is the rubber strap with the dual deployment clasp. I mean, if you look at, for example, the, the Charmix, like that you distorted uh, tonight, mm -hmm. that ships with an alternate uh, rubber strap. And of course, Hublot is legendary, thousands of dollars shipping on rubber. Uh, Richard Mill starts at $30,000 on, on rubber strap. Uh, but now, very different watches, but point taken, this is hugely in vogue right now. Well, uh, let, let, I'm going to talk specifically about this time piece. I was trying to give you a little bit of an overview of, of uh, the Bitterly family and their company and everything, but this particular timepiece is a super value at this price. Number one, you've got a domed crystal here. Number two, you've got a Ronda 515 movement. Now, everybody who understands, we talked a little bit about the Ronda movements last night. I wear a Ronda movement. I love the Ronda movements. When you're talking about quartz, they are the capo de tutti tutti of quartz movements. Uh, they're the best of the best. Uh, here you're getting a Ronda 515, but understand this, just like Etta, Ronda, of course, has Swiss parts movements and Swiss made movements, okay? Uh, the difference, of course, with the Swiss parts is they assemble their movements on the Swiss parts. They're a little bit less money. They assemble them in China. All of the Gravana uh, Ronda movements are the Swiss made. These are, which the difference primarily is uh, they're all metal parts and completely repairable. Here, the Ronda 515 is a two-jeweled movement, okay? So you're getting a Swiss made, completely repairable, all metal parts, two jewels for $150, all Swiss made from a respected company, a homegrown uh, Swiss company like Gravana, domed crystal, and it has a crenellated bezel. If you saw that bezel, it had those little ups and downs and jags and so forth, like a top of a castle. We call that a crenellated bezel, uh, solid 316 now stainless steel, tremendous value on this piece. Uh, great way to open the show here for Gravana. Now, as we move to this next one, by the way, I don't, I don't know if we have it uh, queued up, but we do have some, uh, some newsreel footage, of course, that we shot with, uh, with Gravana at, at the Basel uh, Watch Fair. And, and one of the things I thought was really, really cool is just the physical presence that some of these brands can command mm -hmm. at the most prestigious watch fair on the planet. Well, if you notice, uh, an interesting thing, uh, uh, for people who are not familiar with the Basel Fair, there are six major buildings there. And of course, the, uh, the real prestige for the watch companies, because two of the buildings are all jewelry, okay? And I spent quite a bit of time in those buildings because I'm from the jewelry industry before I got into the watch business. But nevertheless, uh, the, the real prestige building, of course, is building one. Okay, that's where you have your Patek Philippe and, and uh, of course, on and on, Chopard and Chanel, and I mean, you name it. Every, all the, the capo de tutti tutti's are in building one. Well, you saw who was in there with a big uh, exhibit themselves was Gravana. Absolutely. Okay, and you just don't get into building one. You can't just buy your way No, there's in. a waiting list. Rolex, is, one. Rolex yeah. is in there, Breitling is in there, Omega is in there. The building one is yeah. the best Jorge of the High best. I mean, yeah, all the, the big luxury power yeah. brokers. Yeah, Gravana was there. right there with a, a, a two-story exhibit. You guys are around the corner, from, I think, from Blue, which is one of my all-time favorite brands. Yeah, just so amazing. In fact, very quickly, here before we get back, by the way, I think it's a phenomenal retro watch. We'll talk a bit Bit more about this in a second. Um, let's meet some of the uh, cast and crew from uh, Grovana uh, that were in the Hall of Dreams, also known as Hall One, at the Basel Watch Fair. Well, Grovana is uh, an old uh, brand which has been in the market for uh, many decades. We have um, we are mainly de uh, dedicating our collection to the quartz segment, but we also uh, include more and more mechanical watches because the demand for mechanical watches, especially from Switzerland, is uh, increasing all the time. People are getting more aware of the, um, of the artwork of the uh, mechanical watches, and that's uh, the reason uh, why I think uh, there is a big fut uh, future for uh, the brand and also for the mechanical watches. I want to uh, comment very quickly on that on that shot that we just shared with you. Uh, if you saw that staircase in the background, if you didn't know better, you would think that we were just standing around somewhere in a building. That's actually part of the Gravana booth. But when you have booths in Basel, they're 
two, <laughs> and then if you go like Breitling's, it's four stories tall. Yeah. Uh, these are massive, multi-million dollar constructions in some in some cases. It's part of the fun of going to the, to the show. So just so uh, you at home, if you haven't been to Basel, be aware that all that background was actually Gravana turf back there. I mean, these guys have a major presence in the Hall of Dreams. Uh, so I wanted to get you know, your thought um, mm -hmm. on, on this particular design, because one of the things I loved about this from the moment I saw it uh, is kind of twofold. One is the use of the really warm pink gold, but also a, a just a dead-on accurate nod to the um, uh, to the vintage from 1930. No, no question, no question. This this looks like a, what we would call an old TV case, or a, it's a, a cushion style case, as you can see. It's got that step design on the bezel, the domed crystal, and I love the classic Breguet style hands on that French vanilla dial. You've got the date aperture down there at six o'clock, almost hidden down there. You've got the railroad track with the luminous dots going around. I mean, this is this is a great piece. And by the way, just so everybody knows, this is five microns of, uh, th they're not using the IP method yet or, or as part of their program. They're using, you know, five microns. So they're dipping. And um, very, very nice, five microns uh, plated here. You've got the beautiful onion style crown, great value here. Uh, you know, later on, I think in the next few minutes, we're gonna bring out one of the little heavier piece, a Gravana, uh, you know, Value 7750. And they, believe me, they've got the heavyweight goods. But we wanted to bring in a couple of pieces here so that everybody can participate in this uh, great event that you're putting on, Tim. And I know you have a lot of pieces for two grand and 1500 and the Von Berg's at 800 and so forth. Here's an opportunity to, great, to get a great Swiss timepiece. You know that's my point exactly. And this is not only looks amazing, this, I promise you guys, when you get this home, it will look like you spent far in excess of $199. And it's also impressive. And also, if, if you want to know, you want to get down to the substance of this piece, again, a, a, a Ronda 715 movement, uh, movement on this piece, Swiss made, all metal parts, completely repairable, a two jeweled movement. Uh, with a quick set date, uh, you're getting a great movement in this piece. Great value. I mean, it's this a is beautiful. A, this yeah. is a dome sapphire crystal, by the way, hand set back, screwed in back. Um, in fairness, you should also know we're already down to fewer than two dozen of those. So that's going to be here. It's going to be gone. All right. Very now, elegant, moving. elegant timepiece there. Um, this uh, this next one uh, to me. When I when I think of Garana, and obviously you're going to have a, a much greater expertise of it, I, I, it's not like I don't know the brand, but I, I don't know it in depth like like you. But when I think of, of Garana, I, I've tended to think of their really beautiful, very tasteful dress watches, something you'd wear with a tux or yeah. and so on. And, and indeed, they they excel. It's our last piece, case in point. That vintage is just phenomenal. Um, one of the things I think is really cool is to see a a brand such as that deliver a Swiss automatic and do it in a real heavy powerhouse sport look like yeah. we have here. Yeah, well, you know, the, the very classic dive looking piece. You've got the unidirectional ratcheting bezel here. You've got the Cyclops for the quick set date. You've got a screw down crown. You've got a sapphire crystal, as you can see right here. This has the ETA 2824 which I know you've gone on uh, quite a bit here. We've seen quite a few ETA 2824s, but uh, that's what you have in this piece, a 25 joule uh, ETA 2824 movement in this piece. So you're getting a, just a super engine in this piece. Uh, you've got the uh, knurled uh, edge on the, on the you know, ratcheting bezel, solid 316, now stainless steel links. This is a 42 uh, millimeter case, Tim. So it's you know, very good size. Uh, you know, classic dive watch here, but again, with a superior engine, a, a, an ETA 2824, mechanical automatic. Have uh, you, and, and, this, and this is proprietary, just you know, tell us and we'll, I'll ask you something else. Um, and I'm curious what uh, Gravana's uh, reaction has been with this whole ongoing Swiss ETA value. I, I guess what I'm asking is, do, do you foresee that they're, they're going to have uh, ongoing difficulty getting the movements or do you think that you're going to see a price increase? Well, just your opinion. Well, you know, they, they do have difficulty. Everybody has difficulty. However, as I mentioned last night, there is a little bit of favoritism that nobody really wants to talk about. Um, yeah, there's a waiting list. Uh, you know, it's, it's more than a year to get the, the movements, but they do favor the homegrown Swiss companies. Um, and uh, just like uh, Zeno and mm -hmm. uh, here again with Gravana, Gravana is a major force. I mean, okay, it's, they're not Rolex, <laughs> okay, but who is, you know? But nevertheless, they, they hold a very prestigious place in the Swiss uh, industry. And uh, they, you know, the Swiss companies, the homegrown Swiss companies do get favoritism and they're able to get some of these pieces, uh, get some of these movements. But, uh, 
It, it, it is a problem. Let's face it. It is a problem, and you're going to be seeing. I mean, Rolex doesn't have the problem because they make their own movements. <laughs> yeah, in fact, you've seen even like companies even like like Javril announced at the Basel watch, where they're now going to start making their, their their own movements. By the way, that watch is going to run for sixty grand. But yeah. uh, but for you know for the rest of us, you know, that actually buy real watches, uh, this is. Uh, to me, uh, one of the reasons that over the last couple of months, and certainly upon returning uh, from uh, from Switzerland and having um, the, actually had a chance to interview a Swiss of Alju, uh, guys, if you want to own a Swiss of Alju product, I urge you to buy it today. Um, if you wait on that, you you will be paying substantially more for the, for the same product. You know, Gravana is a huge company, and you may say, well, how huge can they be? I've never heard of it. This is my first I've heard of it. Well, one of the reasons why is because uh, Gravana has huge distribution. They are in actually over distributing in over 80 countries. They're absolutely huge in Eastern Europe. Okay, uh, big in Asia as well. However, in the United States, okay, it's almost virgin territory for Gravana. This is like uh, they're putting their toe in the water here now with us and shop at home and, and you and everything else. So uh, just because you haven't necessarily seen Gravana, if you're not a connoisseur, and you haven't seen them around, uh, again, they didn't get into the Hall of Dreams and with that big exhibit uh, just by buying their way into it. This is a very well-established Swiss company, and uh, they're very big all around the world, Tim. I'm going to have uh, Shannon wear this for you guys very quickly so you can see this on a lady's wrist. And I would also point out, by the way, and I just noticed this, I'm holding it, this is cool. The actual dial is actually a green-black, not just the bezel. This is a slate black, but there is a tinge of a forest green in it. So very quickly, I'll have uh, Shannon wear this for you so you guys can see this on a lady's wrist. Now, don't misunderstand me. This is a guy's watch, and that's why it is built. But given the obvious trend where many women are now wearing the bigger, heavier watches, um, be this purchase for a man or a woman. If you are looking to get a powerhouse, Swiss-built, heavy sport watch and you want it built with a Swiss set of value engine and you don't want to lay out four to eight thousand dollars in steel and if you think I'm exaggerating that try pricing yourself a Breitling uh, I'm telling you grab one of these lesser known brands in the United States what's one of the ways to buy watches correctly there's several ways to do it but one of the ways I really encourage you to do you have to go out on a bit of a limb with it but one of the ways to really get the best price and to buy it ahead of the game it's my point is buy it before the watch is uh, is uh, I guess we're not showing champ all right but good effort I appreciate you <laughs> setting up for that um, but buy it before it gets famous it's one of the tricks it's um, uh, quinting for example in 1999 that's up over 400 percent uh, and that's just an example. Um, now, I don't buy and sell watches like they're commodities. I buy them because I love them. But if you really want to get the deals, you find the brands that have the quality and you buy them before they are famous. And Gravana, as you point out, it's got a huge market outside of the United States. They're relatively new in the U.S. And obviously, it's one of the reasons I'm sure that they're excited to be able to partner with a show like this and offer value. Because to me, uh, it seems it would be uh, nothing that they would like more than to be privy to all these hundreds and hundreds of guys walking around like billboards showcasing what Carvana can deliver. Yeah, well, you know, the proof is in the pudding, Tim, and, and uh, you know, these watches, I mean, they'll stack up against anybody. They're so well made. It's They take so much pride in the factory. I'm glad you showed that interview with Chris Bitterly. He's the uh, owner of the company. He's got his kids in there working. But take a look at this next one right here. Here we go with the Value 7750. You know, and we throw that around. I mean, you throw it around quite a bit, Tim, and I know your audience is very... Uh, a learned audience out there, they know what it is, but there may be people out there who don't really understand. Okay, Value 7750, it must be great because you tell me it's great, but understand this, it is a mechanical movement, there is no battery, and it is a chronograph movement. Value only makes mechanical chronographs, that's all they do, okay? And what that means is, that means that this watch is being powered by a spring by a mainspring. It is a coil. You wind that coil up and as it releases it provides power to a watch. That in itself is horology. That in itself is, a, is, is just an amazing, uh, almost a miracle to keep near perfect time on a spring. Now you add in the complication of a chronograph which means you have a separate timing function that you can time an event by pushing a button and it's being powered off of that exact same mainspring that's providing power to the watch. It's almost unthinkable and believe Believe me, I've been involved with you know other watches and other watch companies where you try to do a mechanical uh, a mechanical chronograph that's not a value that's cheaper, 
And believe me, you know, we don't want any more part of that because it's nothing but problems. They are very problematic, and that's why Valjoux has kind of got the market cornered. If you're going to do most chronograph watches, 99% of chronograph watches in the world are quartz watches. Mm -hmm. Because you, you need a battery and a computer chip to operate. A Valjoux is a mechanical uh, uh, timepiece operating off of a spring. There's no battery in this watch. It's not only keeping near perfect time, okay, it is actually operating a separate timing function for a, for a chronograph. It's like a stopwatch. It's amazing, okay? And by the way, when you talk about cost certified, like we were with the uh, Charmex piece, yeah. okay, you get into the history and, and you look at the statistics as far as which movements are getting cost certification. Uh, Value 7750s are cost certified worthy. Now this one doesn't have the cost certification, but Value 7750 actually ranks third among movements being uh, given cost certification. You can't get a cost certification on a, at a 2824, which is a fantastic movement. Yeah, it, no but it, but it won't qualify to plus or minus six seconds a day. It just won't. Now, an ETA 2892 will, but a Valjoux 7750 does. And that's what you have in this watch. Look at the beautiful classic Breguet style hands. Th this is so elegant. It is so beautiful. This is a, a, a watch collector's dream right here by a homegrown Swiss company. Ladies and gentlemen, jump all over this. Do you have this on a, on a stretch pay deal? Yeah, we do actually. You can get, in fact, that's a very valid point. Um, not only is this a $1,600 watch, by the way, at full retail, good luck finding Values you seven seven five O's for sixteen hundred bucks uh, in in Swiss houses like this, especially uh, most of them I know now are well north of three grand, and it's it, not even uncommon to see them in, in the six thousand dollar range. And, and we're talking in steel, by the way. Now, if you want them in gold, you're you're in five figures now. But the the point is, at eight ninety nine, you've got this phenomenal engine, and. It's at a bargain price, and as we've been talking about over the last couple of months with the turmoil that's it's ongoing within the watch industry with what Swiss Ed of Algeria was elected to do, if you want to own one of these products, I urge you to buy them now. I'm and, telling you. And look how beautiful it is, Tim. It is, it's, it's a fantastic so looking watch. You can wear this out to, to you know, a, a social event, a wedding, a whatever. It happens to be a business meeting. And I let mean, me, I have to interject this for one second. Um, the, we're actually, I, I believe, as I understand it, we're going to include both the black and the brown leather strap. So it's not a choice of, of one or the other. You will actually get a black strap and you will get a brown strap. And then you can decide which look at any time that you want. So when you call in, you just order the watch, you'll, not, you'll actually get both straps. Now, apparently we've been receiving several calls that want me to do a mini presentation on the, uh, on the, on the uh, record holder from, uh, from Charmex. I've got about 90 seconds here left in the show, so I'm going to mention this very, very uh, uh, quickly. Uh, this is the record holder. It's a 12,000 feet certified. It is COSC uh, certified. Um, you will get the certificate from Guinness Book of World Records. You will get the COSC cert. You also get the one from the Oceanic uh, Institute that actually sort of did the test for the 12,000 feet. Uh, this watch weighs and I'm not exaggerating this, three quarters of a pound. Uh, it weighs 360 grams, it's a 49 millimeter case. Uh, the case had to be completely uh, reinvented uh, to withstand the 12,000 feet. And you gotta remember that the real trick here is that this is a full certified chronograph with a 7750 engine. They had to redesign all of the crowns and the, and the, and the pushers. They had to redesign the case because this goes so deep that ordinary cases, even unordinary cases, would crush. It would actually bend the back of the case. The crystal was reinvented. This alone is a world record holder. Eight millimeters thick sapphire that actually expands one millimeter when it's under the 12,000 foot pressure. Now imagine a stone, which sapphire is, expanding a millimeter. That's the kind of depth that this survived. It's an extraordinary watch. And I know some of you are gonna look this up, but I'll tell you right now, we have the lowest price in the world on this. We went factory direct, it's a $4,000 watch, used, used. This watch trades at $3,200 in good condition. We have it brand new at $2,199 and with three interest-free payments. We're out of time, I wanna thank my special guest tonight, Larry, as always, a hey, pleasure. Thank, thank you, you so much for sharing your expertise. It's my thanks to, to George J. Von Berg, my thanks to Massimo from, um, from uh, Charmex and, uh, not Charmex, but uh, uh, what was it, uh, RX, and the brands are running together now, it's the fourth hour. We got three more nights, guys, with many more guests. We have the Watch Commander coming in, we have uh, Rick Kalina, the godfather of horology tomorrow night. We have John House, terrific stuff, we'll see you then. 
Be well, everybody. Enjoy your watches. In ancient times, weapons were a symbol of power, valor, and might. Now, claim your own bit of history and some modern favorites. The Knife Collector Show, next on Shop at Home.